Hello everyone, I'm Maddie and today I'm at Ramwith Broad in Norfolk to go in search of the swallowtail butterfly. Wow. Adam, do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I work for the Norfolk Wildlife Trust. I'm the uh, reserves officer for some of the broadland sites. Today we are looking for the swallowtail butterfly, yep. which is Britain's largest species. And the most colourful. And why is it called the swallowtail butterfly? If you imagine actually a swallow with the fee in its tail, yeah. the, the, the swallowtail butterfly has the same thing. If you look at the back of the wings, it has that nice sort of fee in the in the wing pattern there. So Adam, what are we looking for? I'm actually looking for the, uh, the food plant, the milk parsley. So this is what the caterpillars feed on um, for the swallowtail. And actually I've just seen if there's any eggs been laid. And is the milk parsley really important for them? Exceptionally. So the, the caterpillar will only feed on the milk parsley in the Norfolk Broads. No caterpillars on this one, no. I'm afraid not. No! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Life jacket's on, we're getting on the boat, and we're going to a different part of the Broad, which is a little bit more treacherous, so the general public can't go there, but that means it's quieter, and we're more likely to see a swallowtail. I mean, it's a little bit muddy, and when I say a little bit muddy, I mean, like, a lot muddy. Whoa! No, no way. <laughs> right, this is genuine welly stuck. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, we're good. <laughs> so we're just coming up to um, a bit of the broad where there are more flowering plants. So we're looking for orchids and something called ragged robin because it's the um, flowering plants that the butterflies like. In the distance. Right over there. Oh my gosh. Wow. That was amazing. You saw that so quickly. I was like, what? On the thistle. Go straight to. You're looking for a large butterfly, lovely yellow, and with these black sort of patterning through it. Ah, oh, so annoying. Oh, we will see another one though. Yeah. We definitely yeah. will. It's just a case of being patient. But we were just talking about the life cycle of a butterfly and actually in the case of the swallowtail it's evolved really well to keep itself quite protected at each stage. Yeah. Let's start with the, the egg laying. Yeah. The swallowtail lays its egg, mm -hmm. lays the egg under the underside of the leaf of the milk parsley. If we turn this one over, there we have them. It's protected, birds don't see it, you know, most of the things lay it on the top, birds can find them, other insects yeah. can find them, it's underneath. What? Tiny little guy that in there. That is what we are looking at. That teeny tiny thing. Just there. Two. Yeah, I can see. Oh, oh wow! Oh my goodness. Eek. That was exciting. What have we found? We have got a a caterpillar. So this is the second stage really, isn't it, in the life cycle? Yeah. As the caterpillar hatches, um, initially as it's growing, it looks like a bird poo. It's tiny, it's sort of black with a white bit in the centre. <laughs> it's a bird poo. That one just that there. Him, yeah. Looks a bit like a bird poo and for extra security is even hanging out near a genuine bird poo. Just there. Gosh. When they get to their final stage, when they're the big plump caterpillar, they're yeah. around about two inches, uh, two and a half inches, they've got this lovely colour to them. If a bird pecks them, or someone tries to grab them, they stick out these two prongs from the head, they rear the head, these two orange prongs come out, and to the birds it's got a horrible smell to it, but to us as humans it's a lovely tropical it pineapple. It smells smell. like pineapple! It's amazing. Right, here we go, we've come down here just where it's a bit more sheltered, but once the swallowtail has reached its nice big juicy green caterpillar phase, then what happens? The caterpillar will get to that stage, um, and he'll go down the actual plant it's on, and into this dense vegetation where we are. I mean, yeah. it's nice and warm in here. This it's is perfect actually. So, and it will hide itself up, go into the chrysalis stage, around about 10 to 15 centimetres off the ground. Mm -hmm. It'll be a lovely bright vibrant green colour. Wow. As you can see, the same colour as the stuff that's here. So even as a chrysalis it will be camouflaged? It'll be camouflaged. Mm -hmm. And it's up a 
above the water mm -hmm. you can see it's wet under here it's tidal if the water comes up it's protected it isn't mm. going to be flooded out and then as a butterfly it has yet again another defense mechanism you've seen it's bright yellow but also it has two different sets of fake eyes yes. one red and one blue and to a bird or any predator it makes it look like a larger more dangerous species so they leave it alone the whole aim is as a butterfly feed find a mate carry on the cycle and that's it back round to the eggs again so that one's coming to the end of its lifespan see that the wings are starting to fall apart he's lost that sort of tail on the left hand side there he's pretty I, I can't believe this i'm so happy how good was that superb i'm really happy about that <laughs> plenty of butterfly for us today yeah excellent we're approaching the extremely muddy part down by the river again Fingers crossed I don't go down this time. I'm using the vegetation. Right, okay. Da -na -na, na -na -na. Where's Adam? Adam? And she's down. <laughs> Nothing happened. Safe at last, boat. Safe at last. <laughs> Yay, we're on the boat. So we're just coming into more now and I really hope you enjoyed this video searching for swallowtails. I'm so excited we saw so many so a massive massive thank you to Adam. Make sure you subscribe to see more videos just like this one and stay curious. I'll see you soon. Bye. We want this little early purple orchid. We'll call him Bob. Bob. Bob has relatives in the next ancient wood that's 10 miles away. Right. But Bob has no way of visiting. Poor Bob! Poor Bob! <laughs> and Bob's G!